In my last video, I finished this in-action uh, co uh, contact management system. Um, you're able to add contacts to uh, particular groups, categories. You can create categories, uh, edit the users, or edit the contacts, all that stuff. Um, and I'll log in really quick so you can see what was created. I have a, a user with Nick and one whoops one two three four is the password and I'll log in and I just have this not so well uh, styled list here um, but you can create a new contact a new category you can log out uh, the phone number isn't well formatted but that's all stuff you can do with uh, regular expressions and so I won't get into that right now um, and you can also edit the users uh, so I'm gonna hit the cancel button and I'm going to log out. Uh, one thing that one of my viewers mentioned was I didn't really prevent any uh, any type of hacking for this uh, system, which my original intention was just to have it um, for someone who wanted to learn the basics. But if you're going to teach someone, you might as well teach them the correct way of doing things. And I, I definitely thank him for uh, for pointing that out to me. Um, so I am going to go through in this video and I'm going to tighten things up a little bit. I'm going to be uh, checking the variables that are getting passed in and then in other videos I'm going to be doing um, session tokens and then eventually I'm going to be doing an export. So yes there should be um, some kind of export with this kind of system. So if you wanted to export it to a spreadsheet or if you wanted to uh, export it to Google um, you could use that information and pull it out of this system. Uh, so I'm going to get started. I'm going to pull up Uptana. Um, and right now I just have my functions page open right uh, out front of me. Um, so the, the number one thing that I'm going to look at is my information that's getting passed in directly from the user is going straight into my query. You, do, you definitely do not want that. Um, you want to replace these and you want to use the MySQL real escape string function and what that'll do is it'll look at the information that's getting passed in and if there's anything that's harmful or that could be used to hack your system it'll pull that out of that variable. Um, so we're going to implement that into these functions here and that'll help secure the information that's getting put into our system. Um, so we're going to add a username variable here. Then we're going to call the MySQL real escape string function and I'm going to pass in the post username variable. And I'm going to do the same thing with password. Oops. Real escape string post password. And down here, I'm just going to replace the variables here with the ones that have been properly escaped. So now, this function should now not allow uh, anything that has um, 1 equals 1 or uh, any kind of information that could be used to hack your system. So now you have a much more secure uh, setup here for your login. Um, we're going to do the same thing for the update contact, which this one's a little more tedious. There's a little more, a few more variables, so um, bear with me. We're going to just going to go through it step by step. So we'll go ahead and we will add our F name variable, L name variable, our email, our phone number, our cat ID, which is our category ID. And with these last two, the category ID and the actual ID of our record, um, I'm going to do something different with these. I'm going to use um, int val and what that does is it tries to convert the value that's getting passed in into an integer. Um, if it is not an integer it's going to return zero so it's not really going to uh, it's not going to be harmful in any way um, but if it is something that can be converted into a, uh, an integer then it's going to convert it and that's a really good way of preventing anybody from inserting any kind of uh, one equals one hack or uh, any kind of simple hack like that um, it just ensures that your variable that's going in is an integer uh, which is what we're expecting in our database 
So we're gonna do MySQL query, whoops, MySQL real escape string. Pass in post, F name. And to quick, make things a little bit quicker, I'm just gonna go through and copy and paste. Whoops, I should do the whole MySQL real escape string. And now I can just go through and replace these really quick. Email, phone. One thing that I didn't do, uh, which I gotta get rid of MySQL here. Uh, one thing I didn't do was I don't have any kind of form validation. Um, so that would be another thing you really should set up. Um, if you're expecting an email, definitely check for an email. Um, you don't want to be going through and uh, allowing someone to put in a first name and an email address. You're going to get, one, you're going to get invalid data, so you're not going to be able to use it for marketing purposes. Um, if you need to, or if you need to contact that person, you're not going to have their email address. So it's important to do validation as well, um, which I may do a video down the road building an object that you guys can reuse for validation. Uh, so it'll do uh, letters only validation, email validation, uh, phone number validation for US. Um, th th you can build them so that way uh, for your own flavor if you're in the UK or if you're in France or wherever you are, um, you'll just have to modify it to follow your standard of phone number. Um, so we'll continue with this. So I'm going to do int val post cat ID. And then we'll do int val post. ID. So now these should be all the fields that we have coming through our form. And like I said, we're going to be escaping the string. So there's going to be nothing in there that can be harmful for our database. And it is going to oh, the int val is going to make sure that it's an integer that's going into that variable and nothing else. Uh, so those are really good ways of, of preventing hacks or anything like that. Um, I'm going to do something similar. I'm just going to copy and paste these variables here since they are a direct match for the save. And it does the same thing. We're going to save a little bit of time there. Um, and we'll go through and we'll start replacing our variables in our query string. So we're going to turn this to F name. L name, phone, email, category ID, and our regular ID. And I apologize if this seems a little tedious. Um, this actually is really, really important when you're building uh, an application for a customer. So make sure you do definitely do some kind of form validation and also escape any uh, values that you're, you're collecting from the user. Um, and then we'll do the same thing down here. We'll convert this to F name. Oops. There we go. L name. Email. Phone and category ID. Since this one's, uh, whoops, I actually do not need ID here since I am creating a new post or uh, creating a new a new contact. So I'm going to save this really quick so that way if anything happens I don't lose my information. And again I'm going to set up my variables in category. So I'm going to create a cat name variable mysql real escape string post if I could only type tonight post cat name and we'll do id int val post id alright so that should take care of these variables replace those move down to save category and this one we only need our cat name 